Hey y'all, okay, so I'm, I'm I'm up here doing a rant today because someone got on my nerves. I'm sorry my hair looking crazy. I didn't do anything to it today. But someone got on my nerves the other day and um, they ended up unfriending me or something like that. <clears throat> but it was for good reason. Because, um, first of all, this person friended me maybe a couple of weeks ago and you know, I just, I click, yeah, whatever, I'll, I'll accept you as a friend. And ever since then, they've been up in my inbox trying to tell me I need to learn how to do this. I need to learn how to do that, like a conscious, a conscious guy, right? And I need to learn how to do this and I need to learn how to do that. And I can show you how to do this and I can show And I never asked, you know, I just friended this person and they're coming out of nowhere. And I'm like, you know, so I, I'm curious. So I go and look at their profile and um, this person is way younger than me, um, very confused about their identity. And I'm like, okay, well, this is not a, the type of person that I want to learn for anything from because they're not where they need to be in their life. Their identity is so confused. And if they're trying to give away all this knowledge and information for free, how valuable could it be? Right. So I'm like, okay, I don't have time for this because if if anyone knows me, they know that I'm online doing readings, right? So I'm busy. And to inbox me every, you know, um, couple of minutes and I don't respond to you, it's because I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> um, and then um, after a couple of weeks, they grow angry and um, they say, well... You don't want to learn what I have to teach you, and da 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 da. da. It's like I'm not your student. <laughs> you know, you can go form a group or a school or whatever you need to do, but I'm I don't think so, um, sir. And so they get mad and they go on my page and start commenting on this rude stuff, and I'm like, I don't block them. I don't do anything because they're making themselves look silly. They block themselves. So if anyone knows me, they know that I can give some pretty sar uh, sarcastic comebacks whenever anyone um, is on my Facebook but yeah so I just if you're if you're friending me to try to tell me something or teach me something or whatever and I'm not on that path or I'm not trying to learn whatever you're teaching or I probably already know it and surpassed it and have moved on to bigger and better things don't get offended if I don't respond back just say hey you know Maybe she already knows that, or maybe it's not her time to know that, or whatever. But don't come trying to force your in knowledge and stuff on people, because <clears throat> first of all, if you're giving something away free that's that valuable to you, then who, why would people want it, you know? And then that person was like, well, you're charging my people for, uh, for knowledge, and you're charging, I was like, your people, first of all, are not the people that you're talking about because they're their identity they're confused with their identity. Let's just say that. They don't know who their people are. <laughs> Second of all, <clears throat> um, to get upset that I charge for readings. Readings is different than knowledge, okay? If I'm gonna teach you something, it's free. You know, if I have knowledge that I'm gonna give to you, it's free. If you want me to spend 20 minutes with you reading your cards, that's going to cost because that is my time that I'm actually working and typing and, you know, using my intuition. That is a service. So a lot of people get upset because a lot of people don't want the knowledge that they're trying to push on them for free. They get upset at people who can actually, you know, make a small profit off of you know, their ability or their, um, their gift. And it's not like I'm sitting here making thousands of dollars, you know, or hundreds of dollars. I barely make, um, like on a good day, I could make maybe $30. Okay. At the most, because you don't have back to back to back to back readings, you know? So this person is getting offended because I'm charging for readings. But yet he's trying to give me what he thinks I need to know for free and I don't want to accept it. Um, that's why 
that's a really good lesson. Like if you have something that's valuable, if you if you have a gift or a talent, you need to charge for it. Um, you need to charge for whatever you do because if you don't, then it's not going to be worth anything to anyone. No one's going to want it. Just imagine if somebody, whenever someone's walking down the street and they're trying to give you something for free, it's like, hey, ma'am, do you want a free? Blah, 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 blah. And you keep walking because you're, you know, you, they th you think it's a scam. It's too good to be true. You don't want it if they don't want it. But then if you're walking down the street and someone says, hey, ma'am, um, I have these beautiful, uh, these really nice sunglasses, two for $20. You know how they have those booths in the mall. And you look and you go, oh, that's nice. But you'd be suspicious if somebody was handing out free sunglasses. You'd be like, well, y'all stole that. Mm -mm. I don't like. You know, so you have to charge at least a little bit for whatever service you're rendering to anyone. That's how energy works. That's how manifestation works. That's how the laws, one of the laws of the universe works, you know. Um, energy is always revolving, you know. It's always being exchanged. And you know, like the currency of the ocean and the currency of money, you know, it, you have to give to get. So if you're sitting here manifesting money and you don't want to let go of $2, how are you supposed to create a currency or a flow? You know, can't you can't because that feeling of I don't want to, you know, spend money is basically saying, I don't need any more money because I'm not going to spend this money. So you have to really think about what you, you know what you're doing. Now this person obviously had nothing to teach me because he didn't even know that. <laughs> so beware of those people in your inboxes who claim to be all of this and all that. If they're giving their crap away for free, it's that's what it is. It's crap. Okay. And don't be afraid to block them or tell them no, thank you, sir. I got everything I need. I'm good. They hate, This is the one they really hate. I'm good. I'm good. Um, some people just think they have this mission to just go online and teach everybody this and that. That didn't ask for it. I mean, that's all they can get. Like, why can't they go and write a book? Why can't they go and do a video and pass it around and at least try to get, you know, um, more people than just the few people they're trolling on Facebook. Why can't they, you know, make a t-shirt with their key slogan on it and go sell it? I mean, why would I need to, why do I need to learn from somebody who's broke, who still uh, is trying to get to where they're going? They have nothing to, to give me to further my journey, you know? And I know you say, well, messages all, they all come in different forms and da 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 that's true, but what message are they giving you? You know, do I want, would I rather have a message from a successful person who's conscious, who has their stuff together, who's making it happen, who's, whose manifestations are coming to pass, who's out there, you know, teaching people real uh, knowledge, um, has a service, has products and all that good stuff, or do I want some, you know, person who stays on Facebook all day trolling on comments with nothing to offer anybody. Think about that. If I'm going to choose someone to accept information from, it's going to be someone that I look up to. Okay? All right. Thanks. Bye.